On the 7th of July 1962, students at Rangoon University staged a peaceful demonstration to protest against falling education standards and unfair university rules imposed by President Ne Win. The protest was violently suppressed by the newly installed military junta, resulting in the deaths of more than a hundred students. The next day, the army blew up the Students' Union building, where students were taking refuge. The day would go down in history as the 7th of July Students' Massacre. Veteran journalist Kim Mong Lei, who wrote under the name of Po Thaukja, was covering the events at the university 51 years ago. He witnessed the students' peaceful protest and saw the army tanks heading towards the university. This is his account. Kin Mong Lei tried to get onto the campus, but the army was already there and had put up blockades. ตะกะลาบิตะกะลาบิตะกะเลยยินจ้องมาเลยเกเกียร์ชิดาวตะกะลาบิตะกะลาบิตะกะลาบิตะกะเลยยินจ้องมาเลยเกเกียร์ชิ
More than 100 students were killed. The next morning, government troops blew up the Students' Union building, where students were still taking shelter. Kin Mong Lei remembers going back to the police station the next day and coming face to face with Colonel Sein Luin, one of the commanders responsible for the massacre. He later succeeded Nei Win and held the presidency for 17 days before being ousted in a military coup during the mass student uprisings in 1988. <laughs> I <laughs> ปาปาอุเบกะตัวเลจิบ้านเปียวทุกคนเปียวตอนนั้นเลยจ้ะจ้องดูดิจ้ะพระมังจ้องดูดิกาลิบ่สวยติดจ้ะกาลิเนี่